Hello coaches, just a quick one here, a little bit of session detail and a little breakdown for an exercise. If you enjoy it, please go ahead and subscribe to the page. Appreciate the support. So for this one, we're going to look at around this idea of Pep Guardiola quote about not to use possession just to keep the ball, instead to use it to move the opposition. How could you bring this into a training session? When you're a good possession team, you'll typically play against teams that will look to get tight and compact defensively. So you'll have different options that you can play through that. We're all aware you can go around the pressure, uh, use the fullbacks, get them high, use the wingers, get them high. You can go through and combine and play through the pressure to break it down. Or you can just go over it and be a bit more direct. So how can we design a training session that can bring that in and those principles in to how we're going to teach and challenge our players in these scenarios that might come into games? So one thing that we can do is we can we can change the dimensions. I think going over it is pretty straightforward. In this session, in this exercise, we're going to look at two things going around it and through it. So we're going to restrict the space. We're going to move the pitch up. We're going to move it in. Uh, we're going to take away the width to really challenge the players with the constraints of wide areas and looking specifically to solve problems in a 9v9 game and take those principles into a match. So the key concepts that we're going to look for and the details we're going to look for is two things. So instead of just going around or just going through, we're going to look at going around and the restrictions on that. If we just go straight into going around, it's going to be blocked. So how do you get the detail right and how do you open up that space and what will that space create further up the pitch? So instead, we'll restart it, we'll take it back, and now... If we can go around and we can get the fallback higher than the first line of pressure and in an advanced position, then how does that change the picture? And then if you have a runner that's going to stretch the back line, the number nine that's going to pull, then that can open up space in the middle. So you can go around and then go through. Now the space between... Defensive midfielders and centre backs opens up, and now you can work in different combinations and create an up back and through and create a chance on goal. So, this is it in a 9v9 oh, okay. game. This is an example of a 9v9 game. Again, the, the spacing and the position of the fullback is really, really important, and the first touch is really important. And can you open up that space in between the line? First touch opens up the space. And there's the space in front of the back line and a shot on goal and a finish. Now we'll look at how going central, first of all going through, then opens up the space into wide areas. So pushing the play up, progressing it, and how combination play is going to draw the defensive group tight, compact, and then open up those wide channels for fullbacks to sprint into. So initially going through and then going around. And then this would be an example of that. And initially going through, using possession in the middle of the pitch and drawing that defensive group compact, allowing the fullbacks then to utilize that space out wide and then a little bit of double movement, and you can see what it does to the defender. Gets the full back high into the box, cross, and a goal. So a couple of variations there. Going around in order to get through, and then going through in order to open up the space to get around. A couple of variations, very simple, that you can do in a 9v9 game. Any questions, let me know. Gary at ModernSoccerCoach.com. Please subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.